Hello, hello, buenos dias everyone. Good to see you joining us this morning. I'm going to give this a few more seconds, wait for a few more of you to log on. I know a lot of us just now getting our day started. It is a warm, humid start to the day. Oh, I love seeing those hearts coming up on the screen. You know how much that makes my day. Thank you so much for being here. This is a live video chat. I am looking down because I'm waiting for a few of your responses to come through. Let me know if you can hear me OK. Let me know if you can see me OK. Uh, and I also want, want to know uh, where you're watching from this morning. It's important to me. Let me know. Uh, I also want to know what you're seeing out your window. Um, what if, what has your experience been like this week with the weather? And um, let me know your your feels about the overnight rain and the fall weather we're expecting this weekend. We are expecting our first significant push of cool fall like air that'll settle in place this weekend. We just have to get through a few soggy days first. Uh, if you haven't met me, I'm meteorologist Maria Ruiz. I am your daybreak meteorologist. If you can see the red live button on the top left hand of your screen, that means this is in real time. The time right now is 739. There might be a slight delay on on our streaming platform, but 739 today is Wednesday, October 13th. Good morning, Sarah at a Leander. Angie at a Padre Island. Hello, Josie at a Jonestown. Paul at a Bastrop. Good morning, North Austin. Bring on the cold weather, says Lydia. I could not agree more. George, good morning at a San Marcos, Texas. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I have a few of you on here now. We have to talk about the rain, the flood threat, the severe weather threat. We're also talking about cool weather this weekend, so just a lot to get to. Let's go ahead and get started. You can see it here. It is humid. It is cloudy. It is warm out there. If you haven't stepped out, oh, it's going to hit you. I call this air you can wear. 78 degrees right now in Austin. Right now, we're not looking at any visibility issues. I think it's a little too breezy for any fog to develop. However, I am seeing some areas of drizzle and mist this morning. I definitely saw it overnight. Whenever I came into work this morning, I saw some drizzle. I experienced some mist and then it kind of calmed down, but I'm seeing a pop up on radar again. It's really hard to see it, but it's there. Definitely want to prep for that. Prep for it to be on and off throughout the day. The drizzle, the mist even, and scattered showers. Greg, Travis County delivering beverages. Good morning. I sure need um, maybe an iced coffee. That sounds good right now. 77 degrees right now in Georgetown, Cameron. 76 in Burnett, about 77 in Lano. And we continue to keep it warm all day. We did not cool much overnight. This happens when you have a high level of moisture and cloud cover in place. It kind of bottles up heat. It doesn't allow the ground to release any of that heat, and that's why it stays so warm. Raymond said need the rain. Thanks for the information. Of course, yes, we need the rain. Absolutely. It's not great when it happens in a short period of time, right? That's why we have a flash flood watch in place, and this is going to be in place from now through tomorrow. I'm not expecting the flood threat here locally the next several hours. I'm actually expecting it to increase tonight along with the potential for severe weather. But Williamson, Travis, Hayes, Burnett, Blanco, Lano, Mason and Gillespie County all included in this flash flood watch. And by the way, if I didn't mention this earlier, if you're looking for a shorter video, head to my Facebook page, head to my Twitter, head to my Instagram. That's where I post videos underneath one minute that gets you the information you need to know for today. This kind of streaming, this kind of video is more long. Uh, form video and I'm reading your comments. It's more of an interaction. I'm answering questions, uh, but if you're looking for something shorter, head over to my social media pages. I also do daily Spanish weather updates. If you need that information as well, you can find that on the Facebook page. You can find on KV's Facebook page. You can also find it on my Twitter and on our YouTube page. Okay, back to this the flash flood watch. It's going to be in place starting at seven. It's already in place and it stays with us for uh, the rest of the day tonight and tomorrow. It's because we could see rainfall anywhere between two to five inches of rain. Cecilia, good morning out of Taylor. Today it stays warm. I'm expecting most of the day to be like it is right now. It's cloudy. It's humid. We're going to see breezy conditions here and there. 
We'll see some spotty showers. The temperature makes it to about 87 degrees in Austin, 86 in Georgetown, 88 in San Marcos, 84 for Burnett, Lano, 89 in Bastrop, about 90 in LaGrange. The more south and east you are, the warmer it gets. Your three day forecast showing temperatures staying in the mid 80s the next couple of afternoons. That includes Thursday and it also includes Friday. The heaviest rain though that I'm expecting happens Wednesday night into Thursday, and that's why we are going to see it. It's the humidity that stays so elevated. We have a lot of tropical moisture to work with as this front comes in, and it keeps us in that tropical category with our humidity. That front that comes in on Friday, though, it's going to make our dew points drop. That means it's going to be a lot drier for us. It'll be much more pleasant, much more fall like just in time for this week. Weekend. Let's talk about today though. Today we are tracking Pamela. Pamela is now considered a hurricane making landfall along the western coast of Mexico. This moisture in addition to Gulf moisture are both coming into central Texas. Meanwhile, a front slows down and moves into central Texas as well. All of these things collide right where we are, and that creates a big flood concern. This is where the front is right now. It is bringing in severe weather across Oklahoma. In fact, this morning I've seen a couple of tornado warnings in Oklahoma. A long line of showers and thunderstorms extend along that cold front, and some of those storms are lingering into West Texas as of this morning. So that front slowly but surely making its way south towards us. So the severe weather threat this morning, it's centered in Nor in Oklahoma, but it is going to shift towards the south and eventually include. Uh, I guess we got taken out of that. Actually, the latest update takes us, takes the marginal risk out uh, for us, which is good. This is good news, right? We uh, could see the potential for heavy rain. Absolutely, that's the main concern, but also we have that some small threat for gusty winds, maybe some hail with some of the stronger storms, a tornadic threat, very low, if not zero. Uh, the upper air pattern here showing you just how that front moves. It's going to move through the state and it slows down significantly. That slow down in addition to that tropical moisture from Pamela are going to cause that really heavy flood threat. Uh, what kind of winds will be having today? Today, a south wind, Greg. Uh, it's going to be a south wind gusting 20 to 25, and that's just going to be with that uh, consistent south wind that brings in the humidity from the Gulf. But with any thunderstorm that develops, we could see some wind gusts close to 30, 40 miles per hour. I don't think we'll see much in the way of severe weather. Dee Dee, good morning out of Fredericksburg. Love the rain. Hope it ends by Thursday afternoon. I think most of the rain will be out by Thursday afternoon, Dee Dee, and that's exactly what this is showing. Look, Front number three of the week comes in on Friday and that gets rid of any of our moisture. It makes it feel a lot more fall like a lot more pleasant for us. A closer look at how today is shaping up though here uh, across the area. I'm going to show you how radar could end up looking like in the next 24 hours. Let's see Katie. What time do you expect it to move out of the hill country tomorrow morning? I have that answer for you right now. Let's let's walk you through that Wednesday. We're going to see the cloud cover all day. We'll see some scattered showers. It's not going to be heavy. Uh, we may see a downpour here and there, but for the most part, we just see the light scattered showers. Look at this, though. The timestamp, by the way, it's on the top right hand of your screen where it says uh, Wednesday, then the time. So we'll continue to see some on and off showers by Wednesday evening around 8, 9, 10 in the evening, we'll see these storms from Edwards Plateau move into the hill country. That's going to be the first dose of heavy rain. This will then move towards the I-35 corridor by around 11 midnight, and it looks like it slows down. As it moves towards the east, notice how we still keep seeing some pockets of heavy rain in the hill country pretty much anywhere west of I-35. In the morning, this is Thursday now around 830 in the morning. Notice we're still seeing that heavy rain along I-35. Katie, I think the hill country will start to see some clearing sometime around noon on Thursday. We may even see some sunshine by the early afternoon in the hill country. The I-35 corridor will clear by mid afternoon on Thursday, and then that rain completely out by Thursday evening. We could still see another brief round of rain on Friday as our next front comes through, but I think a lot of our moisture will be zapped by then. We're not going to have enough of it to sustain widespread rain, maybe just 20% coverage of rain on Friday without Thursday front that does come through. 
I hope I answered your question, uh, Katie. You are welcome. Let's see, Darlene, flying from Denver to Austin, land about 5.30, do you think we'll be okay? I think you'll be just fine, Darlene. I think your uh, pilot might have to navigate through and around uh, some of the strong storms that will be ongoing in West Texas around that time. Uh, but I think as far as you landing in Austin, I think it'll be okay at around 5.30 today, yes. Uh, rear rainfall forecast here. Uh, we're showing anywhere between two to five inches of rain in the hill country. I know that is a pretty widespread. Uh, I think most of us will see somewhere around the three inch range, but a few isolated areas could see closer to four or five inches in the hill country. The I-35 corridor counties between uh, Williamson, Travis, Hayes will be, have between one and three. I think most of us get close to about two inches of rain along I-35. If you are in Milan, Lee, Bastrop, Caldwell, Fayette County. I'm thinking closer to about one inch of rain here uh, with this line that does move through. So heaviest rain definitely to uh, our west, the Edwards Plateau, seeing some of that heavier stuff. Uh, our allergens today still very high for ragweed and for mold, trees and grass at a medium as of last check. I did check it this morning. I counted the pollen myself. Uh, I think a lot of the rain from tonight will help settle some of the pollen down, but it's only going to be brief. I think by the time the weekend rolls around, these numbers will go back up because of that breezy wind. That seven day forecast showing temperatures staying elevated. It stays warm and muggy today, tomorrow, even most of the day on Friday when that front's coming through. Uh, morning lows will still be in the low 70s, but look at this weekend on Saturday, 74 degrees with a breezy north wind. The wind calms down on Sunday with a high near 75 and because the wind is going to be calm and out of the north and our air is going to be dry. Look at the morning low on Sunday, 49, 48 on Monday. For my friends watching from the hill country, uh, we will see the 40s. I'm thinking by Saturday morning uh, for the morning. So it is going to be a chilly weekend, a fall like weekend for us. Uh, really pleasant. I actually really enjoy uh, the 40s and 50s in the morning and 70s in the afternoon. Uh, all right, friends, that's all I have for you. We have to get ready for our next cut in at 756 on KVU. As always, you can join us on our social media pages. You can download that KVU app. It's super helpful, especially when navigating overnight potential for a severe weather. We're also going to continue to update you on all social media platforms. We have blogs on KVU.com that kind of time this out for you as well if you prefer to read it. And as always, you can reach me on my social media pages. Just look for Mariel Ruiz, M-A-R-I-E-L-R-U-I-Z-W-X. W-X stands for weather. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter as well. I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay safe.